Good evening, all you faithful, fabulous people. I have just qualified for my first professional major. A little emotional right now, not going to lie. I think back on how far I had fallen in this game. You know, from 2008 to 2015, I couldn't even play a golf tournament. <laughs> and now I get to go and tee it up with Fred Couples and Phil Nichols, Colin Montgomery, my buddy Scott Perrell. Scotty, please play a practice round with me. Um, and all those guys out there, you know, it's, <laughs> I, I don't really even know if it's really said it yet. Uh, I'm beyond blown away. Um, I played really well today. I hit a couple bad shots, but I'm, I'm to the point where I'm understanding better that those are going to happen. And, uh, <laughs> I really did a great job of not letting anything bother me. Uh, 10th hole, I laid back a little too far, severely downhill, picked a, picked a club that I thought would probably be pretty good uh, if I hit it hard, and I ended up pulling it into left bunker. Uh, I got very fortunate that I hit a spot that was wet sand, so I didn't plug, um, but then... I hit a shot where I was just trying to get the, the wedge to kind of glide through the sand and uh, it just slowed my wedge down, stopped it, and I ended up plugging it right up under the lip of the bunker in front of me. And so now, I mean, I'm staring it double solidly in the face. Um, plug lie, one foot in, one foot out. It was one of those that, you know, I'm looking at it going, nothing I can do other than swing hard and hope it comes out and it blasted out flew almost all the way to the flag and stopped at about seven feet and then i buried the seven footer and that absolutely 100 percent propelled me on i did make a save on the next hole and then uh made back-to-back -back birdies on 12 and 13. And then i hit it in the bunker on the other par three and got up and down so, uh, so that was really good. And then, um, yeah, it was, <laughs> it was something. Uh, the putter has remained an absolute godsend for my game. Um, I, I, I've always known that the putter was incredibly key to, you know, playing good rounds, but it, hasn't been until I haven't made anything for about two years that I'm, you know, I'm starting to make putts now and I'm starting to really see that difference. I mean, I can hit it on a green and not be like, okay, yeah, that, that's nice. I hit a green. Um, I actually now expect to make putts. Even when I don't, I'm, I'm actually expecting to make putts. So I was a little surprised when I didn't make my 12 footer on 15 par five and I was uh, or 16 par five and I was a little surprised when I didn't make my eight footer for birdie on 17 both of which would have made my life very easy if I had gotten in at uh, 68 or 67 um, we had 84 guys two spots only two guys broke par so uh, man I'm excited I you know it's the uh, tournament is in Omaha, Nebraska at Omaha Country Club from the 5th to the 12th of July. Um, I've got the Massachusetts State Open next week, which will uh, hopefully serve as a, uh, a continuing build point for me. Um, and I've got some grinding to do. I've got some mental grinding to do. I've got some physical grinding to do. Um, this is this is huge. My, having uh, I've gone through U.S. Open locals 15 times probably, and I've gotten through to the sectionals probably nine of those 15 times, and 
I've never gotten into the event. So, one for one in the U.S. Senior Open. I like being a senior. I wish I could have been senior, you know, earlier. Yeah, uh, it's all a, it's all a progression. It's all it's all unfolding in the time that it's supposed to unfold on. I'm very proud. And, uh, you know, this one's for my dad. This one's for my friend Rodney. Uh, I hope they're... I hope they're up there cheering. So, anyway, that's what I did today. I hope you've all had a wonderful day. What a thing. What a thing. I'm very, very excited. And when this really hits me, it'll, <laughs> it'll probably be even, even crazier. So thank you all for following along. Thank you to anybody that held a good thought for me today. Always appreciated. Does not go unnoticed. And certainly should not go unrecognized. So thank you. And uh, I'll have a report next week from... Uh, Fitchburg, Massachusetts at Oak Hill Country Club for the Massachusetts State Open. I'm not going to get a practice round for this one. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they're not allowing practice rounds the day before. and I still got to work. So um, I'm not going to... I'm going to go up. I'm going to walk the course on Sunday. Uh, I got a couple buddies that play up there and one of them said he'll, he'll run me through everything. So looking forward to that. It's not terribly long. So uh, I shouldn't have too many issues. Oh, hey, by the way, better brain day th this time. I, as I said in the, the wrap-up to the Massachusetts Open qualifier, I didn't have a good brain day. I had a, I had a good brain day today. Um, I hit some drivers, and I hit driver well. So, uh, you know, maybe that's a maybe that's a breakthrough. We'll see. Uh, it always depends on the situation. So, anyway, uh, that's what I got. Everybody be safe. Be happy. Be warm. Be cool. Wherever you are, play some good golf. All right? Thank you.